Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Desik and Matt Ahonor, CTO and CPO of Capital One Software, an enterprise B2B software business of Capital One. Desik, such a pleasure having you on the program. It's great to be here as well. You know, we're at Snowflake Summit. The buzz is all around us. You know, I want to start off with, how are you seeing companies think about managing their data the right way right now? Yeah, so no matter which company you talk to, the number one priority now is how do I offer the best customer experience using real-time intelligence. Right. So machine learning is the number one priority wherever you go. But as companies start this journey, they soon realize that all of that data is locked in silos. The quality of the data is not good enough to do any real outcome-based machine learning. So it's become a big problem. Many of these projects die in the pilot stage for that reason. The good news is companies are realizing that better data management can solve this problem. So there is a huge amount of investment going in to better understand the data, to position it in the right place, to put it all together to run the right algorithms. So I think that we are seeing a curve here where more of these pilots will turn into actual real software. Now, for the companies that manage to get past that stage, what they realize is there is a real trade-off between performance and cost when it right. comes to machine learning, right? and we offer solutions in that space, but that has been a big area of interest in how do you manage data, how do you make decisions correctly. And coming from a regulated industry, the third thing I will highlight in most regulated industries is data security is at the top of the list in terms of privacy. It has to be. It has to be, right? And if you look at it, every day there's a new breach that's making news, right? right. So, Unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately. So every company is working hard to figure out how to make, how to avoid those breaches, or if they were to happen, how to make them valueless. So there's all kinds of emerging data management technologies that are coming to solve that problem as well. You know, Desika, from your role as CTO and CPO for Capital One Software, what is top of mind for you, and how is the business innovating to deliver best-in-class services to your customers? Yeah, so our big goal right now with Slingshot, our main product, right. is to offer that trade-off trade between performance and between cost, right? That's what we do all the time. So, machine learning, has introduced an interesting challenge. We always know machine learning has been very data hungry. Right. But the new set of models, the unsupervised learning models that are coming are also compute hungry. So as companies start using these, there is a real need to understand what is the value and the cost of an action you're about to take when you're in the space. It could be adding a new warehouse, running a big query, running a specific model. What is the value I'm going to get? What's the cost I'm going to get? How do I use that to make better decisions, right? So that is a very, very critical need that we are trying to solve with our customers. We are creating experiences working with our customers that allow people to make those decisions very clearly. Look at recommendations of what is the best outcome for you uh, with a business value in mind and be able to execute that. So that's what we do. And uh, you know, it's been great working with customers. One of the benefits of being in a space that's so dynamic Every day there's a new algorithm, there's a new LLM, there's Const something Constantly new. changing. Constantly coming is, the only way you are successful is if you work closely with your customer, get the feedback, and incorporate that and have a real agile development process. So that's something that's really helping us be successful here. You know, I'm so glad you mentioned that collaboration process, because now I want to pivot to the data cloud, and I know you mentioned your product Slingshot already, but can you walk the audience through this, yeah. and how is your partnership with Snowflake make this a reality? Yeah, absolutely. Now, as I mentioned, Slingshot is a product that does optimization for, for both performance and cost in your, in your Snowflake uh, ecosystem. Right. That's what we do. Right. This idea started when we started using Snowflake internally at scale. Just to give you an idea of that, we have over 8,000 analysts logging in every day, concurrently harnessing data in our Snowflake platform, and they're doing it for a wide variety of use cases, including several AI ML use cases, right? We are probably the biggest users of the Snowflake platform, right? So the only way we could make it work was by building tools that'll help us manage performance and cost at scale, so we can actually support 8,000 analysts you know, without doing some big central program. That is the inception of Slingshot as a product. Now we offer this product to all other businesses, 
we can actually work with them very closely and understand what their specific trade-offs are and help them make those similar kind of decisions without incurring the R&D that we actually did to get here, right? Now, we have done a few things that make this partnership even better. Uh, we, you know, I spoke with the CTO, your CTO, and we talked about how we work collaboratively identifying opportunities where we can be very synergistic. For instance, it's a little hard today to find out exactly what the cost uh, structures are uh, based on a function or based on a BU within Snowflake. It's a very dynamic system. We work with Snowflake to offer that. Uh, using Slingshot, you can slice and dice how the costs are actually playing out and who your biggest spenders are. Much better than any, any other way to do it. So that's, that's something that we do uh, together there. That's something we released recently. The other thing we did, and this is very valuable, is it's not always cost optimization that people see. Sometimes it's an SLA you have to meet. It might be actually to deploy more resources to hit that particular performance benchmark. So our recommendation engines do both now. They actually proactively come and tell you, you can beat your SLA or meet your SLA if you did a small tune, it's going to cost you $150. And most times, it's a simple thing that you can do and avoid a $1,000 escalation later, a $5,000 escalation later, right? So we do that all the time, that as well. The third thing, and this is very interesting, and, and, and we learned this uh, by looking at our own data. A small number of users, small number of user queries drive 90% of the cost. So we have a new query advisor capability that can look at these things before they hit and provide you with some advice, some recommendations to modify them so that you can incur less cost and have better performance. Just some examples of how working together using some of the latest capabilities, like your data sharing capabilities, uh, uh, we are able to come in and do some really, really innovative things together for our customers. You know, and it's so great because you're constantly innovating for what your clients need. That's exactly right. You know, many companies that you know, are participating or viewing, or viewing the stream, top of mind for them is operating efficiently across the board. You know, from your perspective, how does the solution drive impact while maximizing spend for your customers? I know you, covered, you know, talked about it briefly, but as you look towards the future, will that continue to be top of mind for your clients? Absolutely, so the interesting thing is the word efficiency uh, is sometimes used very broadly. Right. You talk to customers, for some people, efficiency, some of our customers, efficiency is all about the lowest cost. And for others, it is the best performance. They are in specific supply chain roles or some certain operation capabilities where you need to hit those SLAs, right? So that is what performance is. But for most companies we work with, it's a trade-off. It's how much do I spend, what do I get, and how can I make the best decision, right? You need that context. You need the context, you need to understand the use case, and you need to be flexible to do that. Even within a company, you'll have all three scenarios playing out, so you'll have right. to do that. And that is very, very exciting for us. And the product that we build and the experience we provide allows us to do this. The best part about it is they get more value out of that data, they get more value out of the Snowflake uh, investments, and what we really want to see is every deployment of Snowflake have 8,000 analysts hitting it every day and getting value, right? So <laughs> best case scenario across the board. Best case scenario across the board. That's what we're trying to do here. Does again, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I love actually, we're actually right in front of the Capital That's One right. booth here, That's so. Right. We lucked out in terms of location, <laughs> right? Yeah. Clearly prime real estate here on the, on the show floor. Does yeah. again, it's been a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much for having me here. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon. <laughs>